everybody. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> now doing an internship at. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that whole thing. In. That was so good. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of LexiCast. I'm Ong, your host for today. Lexi, Lex, LexiCast. I'm joined by a very special guest right now. Please welcome William. Hey. So William, introduce yourself a little bit. So hey guys, I'm William. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and I'm here in Thailand to do an internship. Um, I'm currently at Lexicon, which is where the internship is happening, and I am currently studying at the University of Wollongong in Australia, and on an exchange to University of Assumption in Thailand. Why did you choose Thailand? Why did you choose to come to Thailand? Um, so Thailand, I think Thailand's great uh, because it's such a central destination mm -hmm. in Asia, and so I could go to Myanmar, Cambodia. Vietnam, Malaysia, within just an hour, one hour mm -hmm. flight, and it's whereas in Australia we're so far from everything. Originally, I didn't think too much about coming to Thailand, but my friends who just finished their exchange as well, they came back to Australia and they told us how great it was here and the lifestyle. Further research, I found that Thailand's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the entire world and their marketing efforts have reflected all over the social media. Um, so I'd like to come here and learn from mm -hmm. Thai advertisers and that's how I got started on all of this. I see. So I heard that William is a YouTuber and you have a lot of followers, right? Not that much, no. Really? Um, how does the internship here like is it different from what you're doing in YouTube? Um, so I think in YouTube we have a lot more freedom, we can do what we want. So I believe that YouTube is somewhat very flexible, but that also comes at a price. So because it's too flexible, that means that we don't create content at a consistent base, mm -hmm. unless you're very, very strict on your mm -hmm. video routine. Um, so here, I like that there is deadlines, but of course deadlines also cause stress and limit our capacity to create the best content we can. Uh, but it's great. I think that the team I'm working with right now is amazing. Um, I'm learning a lot, so yeah. That's nice. So, what are your suggestions for like other people who's coming to Thailand or is like trying to find themselves in the creative like world? I think that people like me or content creators who are just coming out should just get out there and do it because learning the theory that's just one tiny aspect of everything and getting out there rather than reading books is what we're really doing. Mm -hmm. This is this is what content mm -hmm. filmmakers all of us we should be doing um, creating a portfolio for ourselves. As much as mm. I'm studying right now, the degree matters, but it's n it doesn't really matter that much when it comes to work, especially in this film side, because no one really asks you, hey, can I see your film degree, rather than see your portfolio. The portfolio mm -hmm. usually is like the top, and people want to see that, and would pick you over your degree. I agree. So, I think that's it for the serious, more serious part. Now we're moving on to a more fun part. Lexica. Yay! <laughs> so today I let my, my team prepare a set of pictures and we'll decide that it's hot or it's not. I don't know the topic as well, so this is gonna be a surprise. Okay. So the first one is... Line. Line. Oh, hot or not? It's hot. So hot. Um, I actually never used line before coming to Thailand, but I think it's amazing because everyone uses it in Thailand and not just Thailand, across Asia. Mm. Um, yeah, it's great. I think for me, it's a hot as well because like I think it's really convenient to use. There's like tons of like emojis and stickers you could use and. For the business aspect, I think it's interesting because like right now in Thailand, 
uh, there are a thing called Line App. So it's like a platform for um, business to connect with their audience directly, like um, receive orders and um, put out promotions and broadcast their news. I think it's great. Try it. Line. Mm, try it. <laughs> So the second uh, not one <laughs> is not sponsored. Yeah. Second one is bubble tea. Of course, bubble tea. Um, is there a lot of bubble tea in Thailand. Australia? Uh, they're slowly becoming more popular, but nowhere is near as much as Thailand. Um, and where bubble, our bubble tea in Australia is quite expensive. Here it's low prices. Many selections. Yeah. Nice. So the third one is okay. I'll let you. Okay. I'm gonna look at this. I can't say yeah. Hard or not? Uh, I haven't been there, so I can't really say. <laughs> but I think it's hot because there's it's popular. Oh uh, yeah, that's all I can give because I don't really know too much about it. Yeah, what about you? It's gonna be a hot for me also. I think the architecture is really cool. I mean, I've been there like twice, but I think it's interesting. There's a lot going on inside. <laughs> Fourth one is Marvel movies. So maybe Avenger Endgames? Have yes. you seen it? Hot. Uh huh. Hot. Why? Because really <laughs> um, we've waited so long just to get to the end of all of this. Um, and it's one of those things that influences all of our childhood. Mm. Mm. It's gonna be a hot for me also because I think that Marvel really did a good job of like storytelling. They had all these like different movies and they tied it together in this like beautiful ending. I am Iron Man. Everything's hot right Everything's now. Everything's hot right <laughs> now. Okay. This is Khao San. Khao San Road. Khao San. Have you been there? Ah uh, yes I have. Um not. <laughs> Reasons why is because it's overrated. Tourist destination right now. There's tons of people just wandering through the streets. Um, and things are kind of tourist prices as well. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's still a great place to go to, but maybe once or twice, not every day. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a not for me also because I'm, I don't really enjoy the nightlife that much. I like prefer like chilling, um, staying with friends, doing other stuff. But I think for like party goers, I think it, it's quite fine. So give it a chance. And the last one is <laughs> Snapchat filters, not not oh. Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> the, the baby ones? Uh, this is the, just in general, but this one is like the more popular one, like the female and the male like transformation. Have you tried it? Yeah, I have. I actually look great. Wow. In a, um, never thought I would look good as a girl, but people, <laughs> people said, yeah, I'm great. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's cool, but kind of scary at the same time. <laughs> now uh, I want to see mm. how you look. <laughs> okay, gonna record this. Okay, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, it's... it's, it's this is hot. This is hot. What do you think? For me, as Ooh, a man, oh god. That's hot. Wait, no. let me try it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that hot. Hey, I just met you. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but okay, I appreciate it. It's a hot for me. Snapchat filters. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. Yeah. I think that's it. Well, that's all we have. Like, any last words? Um. Thank you, Lexicon, for all of this. Um, I had a great time and this is my last week here. Yeah. Okay, we should go have a drink or something, yeah. even though we don't drink that much. Yeah, we don't drink, but we should drink. <laughs> yeah, great okay. advice. 
Thank you, William, for being here today. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lexicon Business Communications, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Links will Thanks be down below. So, goodbye. See ya. See ya.